I promise you, I promise you, we have reached the end of my, my, my Christmas movie overlap. This is the final one, Miracle on 34th Street, the first one that ever came out from what I understand, 1947, this thing was on black and white. Hi, how you doing? Also, I really like this movie. I really did. There are no visual effects, there are no big fights, there are no space battles or MacGuffins, but who the hell gives a shit? This thing was so good. The message, the meaning, the characters, oh god I loved it. I don't exactly know what to say about this thing if I'm honest, but anyway, Santa Claus, for starters, is happy to be Santa Claus. It's as simple as that. And we don't get that very often with movies nowadays. I feel like people that become Santa Claus, they don't want to be Santa Claus. Well, everyone's trying to do this hot take on Santa Claus doesn't like Christmas. This is a Santa that's walking around singing jingle bells. He's happy. He likes Christmas, he likes the festivities, and he likes the kindness of the holiday season. And I think that's really nice and really heartwarming. And I think it's, it's, it's kind of a change of pace, I guess. Maybe in the 40s it wasn't. Maybe that was, everything was like that, but watching this today, I thought it was great. I thought it was a, a, a real change of pace, and I enjoyed that very much. I mentioned earlier there's a message in this movie, a kind of a, a, a meaning to it, and yeah, there is. It, it, it really does work on a lot of levels. You've got this conflict of opinions being shown on screen between a certain realism or, or being realistic and managing expectations in life, and of course, believing in something that is bigger, something that is grander. But it's not, it's not as simple as just, do you believe in a fat guy? in a red suit. No, it's it's do you believe in the miracle of Christmas, the happiness, the good vibes of the holiday season? Do you believe in giving? Do you believe in all of these wonderful things that come about during the holiday season? And I felt that that was really nice. And then of course there's the second part of the movie and I don't want to get into it too much in case you've never seen this, but this movie is very distinctly separated into two parts where reality kind of catches up to the magic and to the fantasy that is Kris Kringle. And I think that that was very very well handled as well. Not to mention the social commentary on consumerism, which is still very relevant or even more so today. The consumerism and, and the marketability of Christmas and of the holiday season, everything being said in the film was important, was impactful, all of the characters were fantastic, the performances were outstanding. I'm so happy the internet told me to watch this thing, really, I am I loved it, I promise, this is the last Christmas movie uh, that we talk about, but yeah, it was, I liked it, I thought it was great. Miracle on 34th Street, 1947, gets a big, solid, great. Okay, that's all there is to it. Have you seen this movie? Have you seen one of the versions? Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. You're the best. I'll see you next time.